or another quarterback that moved the same day Aaron Rodgers signed Russell Wilson went out to the AFC West, which is an all-out arms race <laughs> at the quarterback position. And now on defense, uh, it's looking like the Raiders just signed uh, Chandler Jones uh, to a nice deal. Mm-hmm. Khalil Mack and J.C. Jackson went over to the Chargers. Um, Randy Gregory went up to Denver. So they, I mean, everybody's getting past rushers and obviously passers. Uh, how do you think? How do you like that move for Russ in the in the Broncos, man? You think that makes them a legit contender? And where do they fall in that AFC West hierarchy right now? I definitely think it makes them a contender. I mean, we've been looking at Denver for a couple of years now. Like they really just need a quarterback. I mean, that's why they they moved Elway, I think, out of that role, or Elway moved out of that role because obviously, you know, he's a his his legacy is cemented but they've been yeah. having some turnover at the quarterback position like some it's hard to do everybody wants a quarterback obviously i think it was an, a great move for us i was shocked by it to be honest with you because if i would i don't understand how seattle makes that move unless russ says he's not playing there no more yeah i just don't know how you do it if i have a hall of fame quarterback in his prime in my building I'm not moving him unless he comes in the room and bangs on the table and says, I'm not playing here no more. It's not even a question. It's a non-starter. Next, next what's the other problems we have? Because that's the hardest thing to get. That's the hardest thing to do. So I was really surprised. Especially your 70-year-old uh, head coach. Probably not really trying to surprised. hang around for a rebuild. Yeah, I, I was surprised by that. I mean, I, I, Russ I, has we, always been, up until last year, Russ has always been go Hawks. The, yeah, the perfect soldier. Right. Company guy. Yeah, no, I, I, I just was... I just always thought it was some of that was BS though. Like some of what that Russ, like you know, company guy. I just thought some of that was I mean, was, yeah, was, was it BS, always you is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it always so, is because everything isn't always perfect, so we know that. But to publicly right. he was he was the best, along with like a Tom Brady at just being like, nope, it's on me. Just pour water on the fire. Let's yeah. move on. Like he he was the anti drama guy for the long. When he put when he put that list out, the well, ball, them four until, teams <laughs> up until last year he was. Yeah. So yeah. that's why we, you know there was there was definitely some you know some smoke on that fire. But I think it, I think it makes Denver instant co- contenders. I mean they've they've got weapons. They've got a great roster. We'll see about the coach. You know it is it is a new situation, a new coach. They're going to have a new owner. But Denver's a great organization, great fan base. You know, they're they're a legendary franchise and a championship winning franchise as well. It's one thing if you're going to a place that's never won. Yeah, they've had success, so they have standards and they know how to win, regardless of who's in the building. So I think yeah. it's a great move. The AFC West is crazy. Loaded, loaded. I, I find, I find one one, one but everyone's question. freaking out about that and the division. I mean, he was just in a tough division, so it's not like he yeah. doesn't have experience having to it's play. Different over here, Joy. It's so different. We got to the top, right? Go AFC ahead, West. 